Hey guys, how's it going? Back to sculpting. Yeah. Um, if you were here last time, we sculpted uh, the head of Koshek here and did some details. So cute! And we started sculpting one of the paws. So today I'm going to sculpt the rest of the paws, the back feet, and the matching paw to this one, and probably the claws as well, which I'm going to sculpt possibly out of um, Magic Sculpt, so I can have some hardened ones. I should have done that last night, but I didn't, so there you go. There you go. Um, I figured out kind of how to use the chat now, so that's excellent. Just need to make this window smaller. There we go. Um, but yeah, again, if you guys have questions while I'm sculpting, then uh, feel free. I can see. I can see your. Uh, I can see your. You're talking down in the chat. Um, but yeah, so head, paw, and uh, we're gonna start just doing the other paw now because that's we have to make it even. We have to make them have all four paws. That's how it works, because he's kind of a cat, I guess, sort of, maybe. Oh, and here's our reference that we were using, uh, one, a picture of a sphinx cat. So we kind of took a little bit of that look, but also made him, I made him pretty, I made him pretty cute. I mean, he's, he's pretty darn cute. I probably should have made him a little scarier, to tell you the truth. Maybe I will as I go along. But he's too darn cute. Well, there's Orf. Um... I think I'm going to add a little bit of... Of course, my neighbor is, like, sawing or something terrible outside, so that's great. Um, let's see if I can get a good view of this guy. Ugh. Again, I wish you could see my camera set up, because it's, like, it's just so ghetto. It's just so amazingly ghetto. I'm using my, like, super nice armature to set up a camera ghetto, super ghetto camera thing. Do, 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 do. All right. If you guys can't see or you don't like the view, um, tell me and I will move. I do need some more light in here. Maybe I'm gonna go grab another light just to make sure that we can get enough light so you can see some of the details. Because right now it's just not. I don't think it's bright enough. Do, 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 do. Excuse me. Boy. Ugh. I guess my light stopped working. All right. Well, my light stopped working. I tried to find a good a good light, but sad, sad day. Okay. I mean, it like came from a thrift store or something, so I'm not really surprised that it stopped working. It also, sounds like my neighbor is attempting to like bury a body outside. So that's cool. Yes. We have the best view. Nope, nope. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get to work. And I can't play music because YouTube is like, you're playing music, so we're not going to let you do anything. You suck. So that's, that's unfortunate. And again, like this stuff, these things are going to take me quite a while to detail, so I'm going to try and make some. Who's getting hammered? Yeah, I think, I think my neighbor is burying a body. I think that's what's happening. I would love to um, come to Chicago for a con. I think C2E2 is there, or that new one that everyone's like, yeah, C2E2, whatever. Um, one day, if they invite me, I will go, for sure.
Oh, sprat black while I made your week. That's lovely. Um, I just put paper on my table, so I get like a shipping paper, like paper that you use to ship stuff from like a Staples, and it comes in sheets, and it's easy to just throw away and put on your table. So I just like put it down and throw it away. All right, so this paw isn't totally detailed yet, but it's the right shape. So I'm gonna make make the the same the same paw shape like peak right here. I'm gonna turn it down from like face blasting to less face blasting. Let me see. I'm probably only going to be streaming for a couple of hours, so we'll probably call it a night at like 6.30-ish, because I'm going to go hang out with my friends, but I want to get some work done. Well, I might eventually start streaming off of a, a different platform so that I can listen to music and not, like, want to go insane. So, because I love listening to music while I work. Yeah, Jessica and I used to do live streams all the time, and we used to have a blast doing them. So I'd love to, I'd love to start doing them again. And when Jessica is less busy, she can come join me, and we can make crazy flower crowns and Hannibal headdresses together. That would be a grand time. Yeah, I heard that Twitch doesn't like uh, non-gameplay, so I don't, I don't know. I mean, I would Twitch would probably be good, but if they don't like gameplay, I mean, if they only want gameplay, which like I am not against streaming gameplay too, but like, I don't know. I, maybe if I just do sculpting and hey, I also have played Baldur's Gate for an hour. Hope you guys like that. Let me get my tools out of here. I think my neighbor finished burying the body. My neighbors are crazy. Um, I like. I walked outside the other day, and one of the ladies that like lives by me just like coughed at me. Like she was like, run, like pushing her baby around, and she just. I was like, hello, and she just like looked at me and coughed at me. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Literally, is someone like trying to break into my house? Like, I'm gonna look and see where the noise is coming from. Oh yeah, that's my, that's my super mean neighbor. I'm falling. I'm okay. I'm fine. All right, it's just my it's my mean neighbor doing mean neighbor things. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Well, I think they're, I don't know if they're necessarily crazy. They're just, they're just interesting. But they don't care if, like, I have fun get-togethers at my house, so it's not so bad. Oh, I listen to a lot of soundtracks and cool German bagpipe music and stuff. But I can't do that right now because they'll be like, no, I'm YouTube. And I'm not going to let you do this. So right now I'm just taking, this is my, uh, my paw that I've sculpted already. And now I am going to match it. So I'm just doing the opposite. Now obviously your thumb, if you look at your hands while I'm sculpting, I have to still do this. It's like how I count with my fingers. 
you look at your hands, which I have like giant man hands, so please don't look too close. It's because Jessica calls them strong hands. <laughs> um, so your thumbs are always pointed inward. So even on cats, they have their little paw piece is always pointed inward. So if this were all little Koshik, this would be his right paw, and so this would be his left paw. So I'm going to sculpt them accordingly. Oh my god. Seriously, if I see one more, I'm mad at Ross for playing Dark Souls wrong. I'm going to sculpt something not nice. <laughs> I've never even played that game. I've never even played Dark Souls. Doesn't look like a lot of fun, I'm going to be honest. I have a very particular game interest, which is RPGs, um, like kind of old school RPGs. I mean, anything like that, I, just, I, I like it. Just let people play games, guys. If you want to go yell at Ross, go yell at Ross on Twitter. I'm not going to yell at him because I don't even know how to play Dark Souls. And I probably wouldn't enjoy it because not every game is for everyone. I'm going to get off my soapbox now. It's getting off my soapbox. Hey, Orf! And yes, I was briefly talking about Game Grumps because my husband, Ross, is the conductor of Steam Train, and that's his job. So sometimes folks will uh, come in here and ask me about various Steam Train things that I literally know nothing about because I see Ross every day, and I don't, I don't even know really what they, what they do most of the time. I mean, I love games. I love games, but my... I mean, I play games, and I do art, so that's mostly my, my day. Oh my god, my neighbor is totally killing someone out there. He's just murdering someone. That's what, it sounds, that's what it sounds like. Do you have any weird con stories? Oh yeah, I have lots of weird con stories. There's been lots of strange, strange convention happenings. They're just always, I mean, they're just weird in general. Conventions are just strange places. But in a kind of a fun way. I can't really say much about the new season of Heroes of Cosplay, except for we made a bunch of super cool stuff. And, um... Yeah, the banging is my neighbor. I'm not sure what he is doing, other than he's just being crazy. But I have a feeling that if you bang on something that much, it's, you're really not accomplishing anything. <laughs> um, yeah, we made a bunch of super cool stuff, and I think Chloe said we're going to do Google Hangouts after every episode, so you guys can come on those and ask us questions or whatever after uh, each of the episodes airs, so that'll be cool.
have a serious feeling that he's not he's not accomplishing anything gaining that stuff with it. Oh, that's awesome that your sister got into cosplay because of the show. That's super cool. Yeah, the show's gonna be it's gonna be really good. Um, I think you guys will have fun watching Jessica, Chloe, and I do crazy shenanigans. Um, let's see, my medieval degree. Well, I I was going to study creative writing. Well, first I wanted to be an ornithologist, and then I decided that I would study creative writing, and then uh, my creative writing director at the college I went to didn't like fantasy books, so they rejected me, which was awesome. And um, uh, so I decided after that to uh, do history, because that's a... Uh, uh, I mean, similar to creative writing, and I could get inspiration from it. So I just ended up studying that, and it was fun. And I studied a lot of like really hard to read um, manuscripts, and I was really bad at Latin. And I still am really bad at Latin. I took German for like eight years. I'm also really bad at that, and I spent most of the time um, drawing dragons. So there you go. And. It, <laughs> David, yes, David, you can do cosplay. You should, you should totally. If you try really hard, David's one of my good friends who uh, is from Polaris, and he's amazing. But uh, and I also stole my picture back from you, David. If if you saw, I left you a picture in return. It was of a pickle. <laughs> can you hear my crazy neighbor like banging on his car? Great. And I can't play music because YouTube doesn't want me to. So I've just got Let It Go stuck in my head from Frozen. No, my, na my neighbor's really mean. My neighbor has, like, threatened me before. It's, like, really scary. <laughs> He's, like, not nice at all. Don't be mad, David. I'll make you a new picture. I'll paint you one. You can put that on your desk. Oh, yeah, at um, Irvine, that's, uh, yeah, that's like how I... That's how I felt. I was like, yeah, I don't even want to be in your program if you're, like, super mean about not liking fantasy books. Like, I mean, like, look at something like The Lord of the Rings or, like, um, uh, like, Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. I mean, those are all classic, classic novels, and to, like, disregard them just because they have fantasy elements, that's so ridiculous. So I was like, nope, bye. No, our, our neighbor's just really mean. I don't know why he's so mean. He's just he's just not he's just not friendly. I've tried to be nice to him, but he's just not not a nice not a nice guy. Actually I sold the DeLorean, but that's the reason why the guy got mad, because I'll tell you the story, because it's just so ridiculous. One time I I parked our DeLorean in the front and I was like just running inside really quick and then it like broke down. So it was not parked <laughs> it was not parked great. It was parked actually pretty poorly, but it was still in front of my house. And and uh, the guy across the street was like, was like, you need like I walked outside and he was like, you need to move your car. Or no, I'm sorry. He no, I'm sorry. He said you need to move your boyfriend's car. And I was like, number one, that's my husband. And number two, he is afraid of driving that car. Like Ross never drove the DeLorean. It was my car. And I was so it was like, I was like, it's my car. Like. Uh, 
well, it's, yeah, and then he was like, well, you need to move it, or something bad is going to happen to it. And I was like, was that, like, a threat? Did you just really threaten me? Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, it was so weird, and I haven't talked to him since, and he just, like, mad dogs me when I leave my house. And it's really weird. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know what he does for a job other than be weird and creepy. And, like, hit things out in his front yard. Yeah, and that's him outside wildly hammering for no reason. He's just like a mean ogre. Like, why are you, why are you so mean? I don't understand why people can be so mean. It just blows my mind. <laughs> to remove I wish I could remove my neighbors. <laughs> um, I, I, I've been actually asked to apply to Face Off quite a few times, but um, when you're already doing a show on um, the channel, like I'm already doing a show on sci-fi, you can't do another show, really, until the other show is like done, like it's already, I mean that's like at least what I think is going on with ours. So as I mean, I would love to do the creature shop before I did face off. I would love to be on the Henson Creature Shop show. That'd be so much fun. So that would be something I'd rather do. Yeah, we should just call my neighbor Shrek from now on. Um he the guy's like middle aged. He's just really mean. It seems like he has like a sad life, so. <laughs> You'd wave at the person and they just stare at you all angrily. I don't understand people. It's like you live like when the apocalypse hits, like your neighbors are gonna be the only people you can rely on. Like why would you ever be mean to your neighbors? <laughs> Yeah, I think when you live in a neighborhood, you just realize that like people are totally crazy. And people are just people are just so nuts. You're like, man, why can't you just be nice? I don't get it. Like, why are you so mean? Um. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of conventions in the new show. <laughs> I think it's mostly conventions. I don't know though. Who knows what it's gonna be like? Yeah, your, your guys' guess is as good as mine. What if Shrek was watching this? Shrek, I don't think, uh, does anything except for probably, like, drink alone.
<laughs> that's about sculpt. Well, right now, because all because half the half the the live stream is about sculpting and bad neighbors. Because all he's just like hammering away, just hammering away on whatever on his like weird car outside. I don't even know. Don't even know, man. Hammering away. Um, King of the Nerds is the same thing. I can't uh, do another show until um, Heroes is done. It's, I mean, and that's very typical when you have um, a, a TV show. Is like you you can't really just be on a million different TV shows unless you're like Neil Patrick Harris. So <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty usual. Now I have this Shrek theme song stuck in my head. Yeah, Jay Witz is great. I can't wait to see him on King of the Nerds too. He's awesome. I love Jay Witz. He's a great guy. Super funny. You guys see okay? Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing all right. I think we can see okay. Just want to make sure. Oh man, Drew had a really bad neighbor. That sounds awful. I mean, this this guy across the street just little bananas from me, but like he's at least not pushing anyone downstairs. Um, I have not read Homestuck, though. I I um. I have a friend who used to do a bunch of Homestuck like uh, animation voice acting things, and um, he's he's on Friend Zone with me too, at, like uh, once in a while. And he did a bunch of Homestuck stuff. And that he was the only one I ever like got to hear about Homestuck from, and I never got a chance to read it because it was like a billion pages long. And I was like, this is long. And I'm tired. <laughs> oh my God, Carlos. Kashuk would have love and hate on his claw. We don't know what he looks like, so we can put whatever we want on him. Hey, don't don't hate on the fandoms. There's Homestuck is just another fandom. We are all in the same the same boat, guys. Don't don't be hating. Don't be hating. All fandoms are are worth are worth the same. I will have no fandom hate in this chat because it's not nice. I think, you know, I've heard that a lot. Like, I hear, I hear a lot of, of people be like, like, you know, man, I would like blank fandom if their fandom wasn't so insane. I think people are just insane. I think that people are just crazy. And a lot of times those crazy people just end up in, in fandoms because they're into stuff. But I think, like, most people, and uh, most people are, are awesome. It's just that a lot of bad apples end up getting, you know, getting called out or you meet people you don't like or whatever. And it's just people in general. The world's just full of so many different people, you know? 
And uh, but I think that you know every fandom has its has its up down its upsides and its downsides, and I and in most of them, you know, it's it's things to make people happy. So. Yeah, every fandom. I mean, like, if you if you talk to anyone that's in like a club, like the like, the like model plane club, or the like, I mean, look at sports. Look at the people who do like go to sports. You know, like, I mean, there's 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 crazy people in everything. So you can't you can't just be like, man, this fandom sucks because they don't. They, none of them suck. They're all things to make us happy and help us get out of our crazy mundane lives and into another one. Hey Hillary, how's it going? I'm streaming again, making some making some pause. My crazy neighbor is is hammering dead bodies outside like it's the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, exactly. At uh, the Bard of Short, you can also like something and totally not interact with the fandom. I, that's that's totally something you can do. I'm, in, I'm too much in the corner here, so I'm going to move this guy up a little bit. Woo! Sorry for the spinny cam. I'm just trying to trying to get a better... I think this is a little better. Let's see if I can take her back. There we go. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. That's a little better. There we go. Okay. Yeah, see, every, every fandom, someone is always crazy. I don't think it has to do with what it is. It just has to do with, there's always, there's always some crazy people. That's just always how it is. And usually you just pat those people on the head and just feel like, you, you, you do your thing. You do your thing. Oh, yay, Hillary made Earl Grey tea. I love Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey hot. Um, I got my love for creating and cosplay just from making stuff as a kid. Like, I made stuff and went to Renaissance fairs and... No, not Hillary Clinton, my friend, Hillary. She's uh, she's in the chat. <laughs> um, oh, no. Jennifer, d d those sound like awful neighbors. Well, I live in a neighborhood where... Um, you know, New Year. I'm sure, like you, you know this too. If you had people with shotguns, like um, in my neighborhood that I grew up in, people on New Year's would shoot guns into the air. So we'd have to like hide inside because too many pe people would like shoot guns in the air. <laughs> Hillbillies. It's pretty funny though. Um, I do like Firefly. Firefly is awesome. I love Firefly. Yay, thank you. Thank you for saying my cat hands are looking fantastic. Ooh. Wait, hold on. We have to do this. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Uh. Okay, I'm done. Back to sculpting. Do -do.
Um, Ross and I have been playing Elder Scrolls Online, actually, and I'm way behind him right now. My problem is that I played vanilla WoW for a really long time. I mean, like, I played WoW for, like, four years, but I was really, like, into vanilla WoW, like, super hardcore. Like, I, I raided, like, Molten Core and all of those beginning ones, like Blackwing Lair and AQ-40. And um, I worked really hard to get my full set of Warlock armor to get, and I got, it was, I had tier, what was it, I had tier, I had a, the Felt Heart set, and then I almost got the whole set from Blackwing Lair. And, um, and then once my guild, like, broke up, I just didn't really, I didn't really get into it anymore. I was like, eh. Yeah, we made, I posted on my Instagram, we made our cats, um, we made our cats in ESO, we made Khajiit that looked like our cats, Orphan Mojo, it's super cute, so that was fun, and really the funniest thing about ESO right now is I'm like super into cooking and crafting, which is, which I love, I don't know why, Ross is like running around, I'm like, I cooked some scuttle stew, and Ross is just like rolling his eyes, <laughs> um, Oh, here's a little update of uh, fabrication stuff for you guys. This is a uh, this is the wire armature. I mean, this is pretty much the start of it. So I have this long piece of aluminum wire that I, I will, in a live stream later, um, show you guys that I'm going to take foam and carve the body out of foam and glue it to the wire armature. And um, I'll also be, have the, all the arms and limbs and everything wired. And then um, I'll attach all the limbs, uh, hard mount them also to the wire. And then uh, I will fur him. And then he will be done. So there you go. I don't, honestly don't even know what faction. I was just like, Ross, here, make our cats. And then I started playing. <laughs> I think we're the Skyrim one, actually, because Ross loves Skyrim. Do -do -do. What time is it? All right, we got a while. Good, good, good. He's still out there, guys. Shrek is still banging. I think he's burying Donkey. I think that's what's happening. He's had it with him. Um, I should be drinking tea right now. I left my tea inside because I drank too much green tea today, which made me super hyper. And I was like, ah! <laughs> so I, I'm kind of taking a break from drinking some tea right now. I needed to cool it. So yeah, anyone who's joined us in the past, like, I guess like hour. Um, this is monster clay, and I'm sculpting a uh, uh, I'm sculpting Kashik, the floating adorable cat from the podcast Welcome to Night Vale, and um, he's going to be a soft sculpture, so everything will be mounted on the armature, covered in foam, and then put fur on it. So there you go. And we're detailing him right now, and I'm sculpting his front paws.
Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. I'm going to have to figure out something with Monster Clay. <coughs> Coughing. Something with Monster Clay that I've never really been happy with is doing a uh, little details that make things look like bumpy, like a cat's nose. Um, and I, you know, I, I need to figure that out because I haven't really, um, I've never really been happy uh, with with that. So it'll take some time for me to figure out just just to play around with. Would I recommend pursuing an art degree? It really depends on what kind of art you want to do. Um, I mean, my degree is in medieval history. I don't use it at all, really. Um, it, if you want to do digital art and get into concept art. You need to go to school pretty much for that. I mean, unless you get super lucky and have a good portfolio. I mean, really, a good portfolio is everything. You don't have to, if you don't have the money, you don't have to go to school. All you need is a good portfolio, and the like ability to market your your skills. But if you want, you know, I mean, even even like out here, like I could take classes at Nomon or something and not take an actual degree course and still like get some of the contacts there. The art world right now is just really interesting because you've got a mix. You've got a mix of digital art, traditional art, concept art, and really concept art is is your, I mean, at that point you're really just a, a cog of the machine, so to speak. Like, concept art is awesome, but you're creating a product for a video game. You're not really getting to be, like, an art, like, it's just a very different kind of art that I think, like, artists, honestly, at times have a hard time dealing with because it's so different and corporate. Like, you have to design certain things for whatever like corporate entity is asking for them, which I think it would be really difficult. But I love um I love being able to do my own my own art, which I'm very lucky to be able to do once in a while. So it's just, you know, it's it's just there's lots of different jobs for artists, so um, if you want to be a prop fabricator, my best advice is to do it yourself and make your own company like my friend Will has and my friend Bill Doran um, because there are really no jobs for it uh, and my friend Ted who's worked in prop fabrication for over like 20 years um, he you know he still has to like make sure that there's work and everything and it's just it's not it's an, an industry right now that again that is in big blocks it's just um, you know, it's just it's just a really inter it's a difficult time for any kind of person that does physical art like this. But it's also a great time because of the internet, and you can do it on your own, and you can get people interested in your work, and just you know, get people to really like you as an artist and the work that you do personally, which I think is just wonderful. And I have a lot of friends who are really lucky to have gotten to have been involved with art like that, which I think is really cool. Yeah, the main thing about being an artist is being able to sell your art 100%. Do the art, it doesn't matter what kind of art it is, what it looks like, and then find a demand for it, and that's that's kind of your, your art plan right there. And again, that's more difficult with companies because companies are looking for a very specific thing. Like, you look at like all the World of Warcraft art, I mean, you've got it all looks the same and they're, that's because they're looking for students, they're looking for people that have come out of art school doing that kind of art, like doing the kind of art that they think is marketable and that has to do with marketing too. So, you know, someone like me that does traditional art and does like sculpting and things like that, hey Matt, how's it going? Matt's an artist, he's an illustrator, he's amazing and he'll probably, you know, totally get it, so it's, yeah. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Hopefully you guys can still see this okay. I'm, I'm trying to move my window around. Um. I, you know, it's, it's, it's different. I've had so many different crazy, silly jobs that I've done in my life. And, I mean, it always comes back to just doing what you love. Like, if you want to, if you're an artist and you, you know, want to do your art, just keep doing your art. Like, it's, it, you know, you don't have to have a corporation tell you, you need, you, I need you to do this. Like, what do you want to do and what do you want to do to be, you know, to be happy about it? 
Right now, it's me sculpting these cute little kitty paws. Ooh, look at him. Ooh. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, everyone from the show is awesome. Uh, they're all they're all wonderful, and they're amazing artists too. And it's it's a shame that you don't get to see more of um, the work that they do because they're just freaking talented. I think I think next season will be they'll be showing a lot more of the work everyone does because we did some fun crazy stuff. So it's it was it was it was very stressful, but also really cool. So I think you guys will like some of it, but some of the stuff that we did. I wish I could show you. I have half of it all in my garage right now, but. Yeah, really, you know, it really just depends, like, and that's why sometimes degrees aren't aren't the right way for people, you know, it just really depends on, um, on you as a person, like, do you, you know, is, is school something that motivates you and inspires you, or is doing your own work something that motivates you and inspires you? I mean, I tried to take uh, college-level art courses, and I was not happy in them at all, so... I, you know, I was, I, then I went and took uh, community college courses after I graduated with my history degree, and um, I enjoyed the community art courses way more, and uh, a good friend of mine who still teaches uh, for them and also teaches at a high school does a bunch of, like, custom toys now, and he's super talented, and I had a lot of fun working with him. He was great. So, like, it just, it really depends, and because you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good art degree, you just have to find a, find a teacher that's, that's inspiring. Yeah, exactly, Matt. Yeah, you use the internet to promote what you love, and you know people will uh, people will will like your work. In fact, I put your brogans. Matt drew this picture of uh, two brogans like giving each other bro fists, and it said brogans. And so I uh, I put it up in my little like blog set, and um, tons of people have asked about it. So, and I don't know if you sell prints or not, but I want to send them so people can buy prints of it because. Like, I had literally, like, ten people be like, where did they get that Brogan's print? It's so funny. So there you go, perfect example of some, you know, someone enjoying your art through, you know, through just, like, YouTube or the Internet. And also I love that picture. It makes me laugh every time I look at it, so. Because they're Krogan's, but they're bros. It's amazing. And my neighbor's still burying bodies. Still, still yelling outside of the swamp. I'll put a little Koshik back in here. Yeah, Hillary learned how to bind books in community college. Like, there's all kinds of cool stuff that you don't have to spend a lot of money on that can, you know, one day make you money. So don't don't ever don't ever rule something out just because it's a community college. And if any of you guys are in college, I um, totally I totally advocate for not immediately going to a university, but like taking like a year of community college while you like figure out what you want to do because it'll save you a lot of money <laughs> in the long run, especially if you're like iffy on what career you want. <laughs> and then you'll also you know get to probably live at home for cheap and do all that kind of stuff. I wish I would have done that because I probably would have gotten, um, you know, maybe figured out I wanted to do art and gone to art school or something like that. Like, staying home for a little while and saving money is not bad. Um, I, I think that living in California has its own ups and downs, but, like, like, with the Internet, like, you can live anywhere and get your art out there. You just have to go on, like, you know, message boards or, I mean, I met this one guy once who did a ZBrush sculpt and like some, I, he was in a sculpting class with me that I was taking out here and um, 
he did like a really cool, some really cool ZBrush sculpts. He was like 19 and then got hired at a game company just from posting them on a message board. So like you really never know who's looking, like what game companies or what companies are looking at work just around the internet. And it's just, you know, you can live anywhere and then, and then uh, people can find your work that way. So, but always have, if, if you're doing that, I mean obviously until you get established enough you have to have a day job which kind of blows, but I used to love working in coffee shops, so I, if I had to, I would work in a coffee shop again because I, I love coffee. So there's nothing wrong with having a day job. You're still an artist no matter what you're doing during the day or at night or afternoons. Oh, that's sweet that you work at a tattoo studio. Tattoo studios are amazing. I like, I love, I love getting new tattoos because the tattoo studios are always full of really interesting, creative people, and they're all very talented artists. Do 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 do. do. Wish I could listen to music, but YouTube is gonna yell at me and then take away my live streaming privileges. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, so I'm kind of getting a similar shape here now. So I'm going to add a little pad, I think. He's trying to sabotage my stream, yeah. No, I don't think he's I don't honestly don't think he, my neighbor is is that is that tech savvy. Oh my god, the MIDI playlist. That's what I need. I need some I need some MIDI playlist action. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I'm just going to just assume that he's just bananas. Trolley la la la. Uh, the monster clay, yeah, the monster clay is actually, it doesn't dry at all. It, uh, it stays pliable. It's, it's heat reactive. So, um, what it does, um, is, uh, you mold it. So you don't, it doesn't dry or anything. Like, you, you mold it and then take it out of the mold. Which I'll be showing you guys, hopefully, if I have a live stream. Oh my god, Matt, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, Jesse, Jesse, are they literally living on a boat now? Did they leave their apartment? 
Jesse and Chin Chin from the show are living on a boat now, like real pirates, which is crazy. Yeah, there's there's someone who's non-traditional. Jesse like quit his nine to five job and moved on a boat. It's amazing. Um, Jennifer, the the uh, the texture of monster clay is a lot more waxy, uh, and Chavant smells bad. I've never liked Chavant because it smells bad, and I I'm like that just like is really unpleasant to me when I'm trying to work, and I'm just like this smells like butts. I don't enjoy working with this because it just smells like butts. So and this stuff doesn't smell at all, and it's a lot waxier. So it you can actually and you can get it to harden a lot more. So I I mean so rather than Chavon, at least it doesn't smell, which is just the worst. <laughs> yeah, Hillary, they moved on a boat. Isn't that cool? Just like, I'm going to move on a boat. Uh, monster clay isn't really firmer than, I mean, monster clay doesn't have a firmness rating. So, like, Chavant has, like, firm, like medium, soft, and hard. Um, monster clay doesn't have that. It, it gets harder when you, uh, when you freeze it, and it gets softer when you heat it. So, I mean, I guess that kind of gives you a little bit of variety for that kind of thing. But it also is, like, if you're doing, like, a hard sculpt, like a helmet or something, you're going to want something like Chavant hard just because that's, like, what they usually use for that kind of stuff. But Monster Clay is great for sculpting monsters, which hence the name, because it's great for doing, like, wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. I know only in Portland when two people live on a boat. So great. I'm so jealous. Oh goodbye, Jaden. Good luck good luck tanking. Um, I mean, you could sculpt wounds in monster clay, like um, any kind of, you know, if you did it onto a head cast or you did it onto something, but, um, I mean, you can't use it for, like, you can't use it for actually putting on skin because it's, it's clay. You'd have to mold it and all that nonsense. You'd have to sculpt and mold the wound and then cast it in silicone or, or bondo or whatever you want to use for it and then apply it and then add blood and blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah.
Do videos count for fo uh, Maybe, I don't know. No, I think they died from uh, poisonous spikes. I don't know if it was from photographing them. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, Matt. Um, wink, wink. Uh, yeah, there, there may be some, some Skeksis action at some point. Wink, wink. So it's pretty pretty exciting. I mean, I loved I loved watching them on the on the on the thing. It was just amazing. What's the best product to buy if you want to make molds? Um, if you're gonna make like a um, I mean, it depends on what you're molding, really. I mean, if you want to make a like this guy is gonna be uh, molded in silicone because I'm going to be casting a hard cast of him rather than a soft cast, which would be latex. It would be latex. So if you want to do something actually like, if you want to do something like um, a, uh, like a latex head, you'd want to cast it in plaster. Um, so it really just depends on what you're using. There's also some different resin products you can use. Sometimes a lot of my molds are fiberglass, and those are for bigger, like, injection things or you know, larger, like, uh, sculpts and things like that. So there's there's a lot of different stuff. It just depends on what you're actually molding. I have a couple good books on that kind of stuff, too, like, ways to... I mean, they're really old and really boring, but they, they get the information across. Yeah, it really just depends on if you want a hard positive or a soft positive. And then someone asked if I was born and raised in California. I was. I was born and raised in California, but in a small desert town that reminded me of Night Vale. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm not sure what I'm going to make the claws out of yet. I have a fun little trick that I do sometimes for making things quick and easy and not breakable. So I don't want to break them. So I'm thinking of maybe molding them and then um, casting them out of hot glue. I know that sounds crazy, but hot glue actually works really well for quick little claws for things. Um, my friend Ben taught me that. So um, I might actually make the claws out of hot glue. Oh, or if here's a bird outside. Yeah, the podcast totally reminds me of home because I grew up in a really weird, super conservative, strange town in the desert in Southern California, in inland Southern California. Um, it's called Redlands, and it's just this weird, like, there's a bunch of old Victorians, and, like, it's just a really bizarre place. And uh, I, the podcast reminds me of how weird and creepy it is, and it reminds me of, of my hometown, so.
Oh, how did I meet Jessica and Lizzie? Well, Jessica and Lizzie actually and I all went to uh, middle school together. Uh, Jess, uh, well, elementary school technically, but I, I didn't know them in elementary school. But Jessica and Lizzie were friends in elementary school before I knew them. And then I met Jessica and Lizzie in middle school. So we've known each other for a really long time. <laughs> we all grew up in the same creepy hometown, too, so there you go. Yeah, I'd do a Google Hangout one time. I think Google Hangouts are awesome. I can't really work like in sculpt and stuff during Google Hangout because obviously I'm, I'm trying to like make make things, so it's difficult. Um, but yeah, no, it'd be really fun. I love Google Hangouts. And all these live streams go back up on my channel, even though I know they're they're pretty slow. But hey. I can probably use the footage for later videos too, so it all works out. I did go to a con in England. I went to uh, MCM in London, I think, which um, was awesome and really fun. I went with Bioware when I was uh, doing Commander Shepard stuff for them for Mass Effect 3, which is really fun. Yeah, Matt, um, Susie's awesome. We've wanted to do a collaboration for a really long time, even if it's just like visiting each other's channels. And I'm now that I've been doing my channel, I know like we'll probably do one in the future because, I mean, we do stuff together all the time. So it'd be really fun to to um, get to do like a vlog or something and talk about like cool paranormal stuff or taxidermy or all that kind of fun stuff. And I know Jessica's wanted to do it too. So one of these days, one of these days, we'll get around to it.
Um, all right, I'm going to answer the question from uh, Gazter. So what he's going to have is, he, is uh, since he's a soft sculpture, he is going to be made with a um, wire armature. And the wire, ar wire armature, I can't talk. OK, I'm better now. Um, the wire armature will have foam over it. And then um, these pieces will be attached as hard pieces onto the wire. And then I will fur him. There you go. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys. You'll see it all happen. I'm going to do it on live stream because I'm having fun. Yay, live streams. Yay, and it gets me to work. Yay. Um, so yeah, Get, let's keep working. Let's keep on working. Movies I want to see, huh? I really want to see uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm really excited for that. That's going to be great. Looks like a lot of fun. No, Archmage does not hang out with me while at work. He's crazy. He, like, runs around like a maniac. I've never met a bearded dragon that is just, like, bananas like he is. I'll be like, come on, Archmage, sit down. He would just, like, eat everything on this table, fall off. Like, he is he is just so crazy. <laughs> He's so crazy. Um, and Friend Zone is super fun. I, I always enjoy being on Friend Zone. It's great. <laughs> Yay, at little little guy Jin. I'm glad that you like doing creative stuff. If that's one thing that I can hopefully do is um, inspire people to be creative by doing stuff, then that's that's a win. Because it's it's not fun to do creative stuff when you're alone, you know.
And the last, someone asked what Welcome to Nightville is, and the last stream I heard the best description of it is it's NPR for a paranormal town, a fictional paranormal town. So that's pretty much what it is. It's like NPR for a fictional paranormal town. Hi, Teddy. Yay, chicken maintenance. Aw, chickens. No, no raccoons. Yay. Poor chickens. All right, so it looks like I made some of this fingers on this hand, like, fatter than the other hand, some of them. Clean them down a little bit. I did watch cartoons as a child. I watched a lot of cartoons. Um, I watched. Um, Rocco's Modern Life, uh, Ah, Real Monsters, um, what else? Quite a few, quite a few. Uh, I didn't really watch Ren and Stimpy too much. I wanted to, my parents wouldn't let me. Um, Rugrats, a lot of Rugrats. Doug, Double Dare. <laughs> I lost my screen. There it is. Oh, good night, Lord Delightfully Mad. <laughs> um, I might still be doing the third eye on Cecil. Um, I, I've kind of been, I've still been toying with the idea. I'm not totally sure. I, I might still do it. Um, I'm thinking if I do, if I do do the third eye on Cecil, I'll sculpt it, and then I'll, uh, I'll mold it out of plaster and then cast it from silicone and then make it an appliance, which is probably what I'll do. So I have all the stuff to do that right now, so I don't have to buy anything new. I think I, I mean I like I like complex cosplays and I also like simple cosplays. Um, and um, yeah, I like I like both of them. Like I think both of them have really have a lot of merit and that and each have their challenges. So I'd still have to say both really.
Thanks, Mr. Zach Xanax. I'm working on my paranormal kitty. Oh, yeah. Um, right now, the main tool that I'm using, which I haven't even, I haven't even moved into the detailing. These are all my detailing tools right here. And I've got like a dental pick. Um, I've got some rubber tools. I've got a tiny little ball ended tool. Um, and then uh, this is the one I'm using mostly right now, which is just a little loop around a piece of metal. And that's really what I'm using to carve out the shapes that I want. And I know these paws are taking a while, but they're going to be um, they're going to be uh, such a focal point of this of this character that I want to make sure that they're they're really detailed well. And I'll mold them straight up like this, so I'll be molding them like boop, just like that. Okay, well now you have now you have little kids to uh, teach things to. That's the best thing about little kids is that, I mean, they're willing to learn anything. So they can be creative, and you can do all kinds of cool things and teach them, and they'll be fascinated by it because they've never seen it before, and they won't be dim and jaded like the rest of us. So you know, if you have kids and you want to do creative stuff now, then go be creative with your kids. They're just naturally creative. Goodbye, Nam Milos Productions. See you next time. Goodbye, waving with the kitty paw. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys one of my like fun little sculpting techniques. So I'm just taking um, little bits of the clay and just rolling them. So just making little tiny hot dogs with them. Little tiny hot dogs. And um, I think I have like another like 20 minutes of the stream. So 20 minutes left, guys, and then I'm going to go. I'm going to go hang out with my friends. Go see my friends. Oh, yay. Thank you for being motivated. Hold on a minute. My chat's moving too fast. Oh, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin.
Um, I totally can stream earlier for you guys over in the uh, in the UK and other parts of the country. I was going to do it today, and then I I got distracted by by from buying camping supplies, which was totally what I should not have been doing <laughs> with my day. Um, but yeah. So anyway, making little hot dogs. Making hot dogs. Okay. So what I'm doing with these little hot dogs is I'm I'm making wrinkles out of them. So you can see where I'm putting little hot dogs on the paw. Kind of like looking where the skin would be stretched. And I'm going to keep putting it on there. Until they're where I want them to be. And then I'll hit them with a little bit of heat. And then I'll do some more detailing. I know this is a pretty snoozeville stream, but I appreciate you guys watching. This is really like... Detailing is some of the best part of sculpting, and it's it's really time consuming, but it is can be really fun. So, and tomorrow I will live stream doing the paws of this little guy, but that'll probably be later again because I have to um, go do some do some Mother's Day stuff because that's a thing. All right, so I put all my little wrinkles where I want them on the hand, so you can kind of see them. Right now they look pretty janky, so I'm going to hit them with the heat gun and warm them up a bit. And this is going to melt them, actually, to a point where they actually kind of fuse together. All right. Oh man, at Male Spy. Yeah, I totally remember Soul Your Shorts. I watched that show. Do you remember the one where they like were doing a puzzle and they were sick and like then they got they were like trapped inside. That was like like that show was so crazy. I can't even believe those shows. They were a thing. I know, monster clay does look like chocolate. I wish it smelled like chocolate. That'd be awesome. No, it does not smell like butts. That is the important thing.
Goodbye. Uh, Gaster. Yeah, go catch up on Night Vale. Do it. Hear about, hear about our little Kashuk here that we're sculpting. Um, each Night Vale episode, I think, is about a half hour. They're pretty short, which is great. So in tomorrow's live stream, I'm going to be uh, making the back feet. So these are the front feet. I still need to make the back feet. And then after that, Chad just left to go read Goosebumps on the train. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Chad. And it does look like poop. The clay does look like poop. Thanks, guys. That's great. Looks like poop. Poop, 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 poop. I do play Pokemon, and my favorite Pokemon is Pydove. Pydove is so cute. It's a little pigeon with a pigeon face. Just looks like a cute little pigeon bird. There's nothing special about it. At all. At all. It's just a pigeon. Just a little pigeon. Nothing special about that pigeon. Chad, hype my podcast. <laughs> Chad has a great podcast. It's called Paranoia Shop. It's great. If you like Night Vale, you'll like Chad's podcast because it's about weird, creepy things, which is good and fun. Well, I'm glad Chad has goosebumps to read on the train. I'll probably be streaming late tomorrow, so I'll probably be starting around this time, most likely. 
Maybe, I mean, maybe earlier. We'll see. Um, again, I have to go do Mother's Day type stuff, so take care of that, and then I will be back to doing my thing. Yeah, I already guessed it on Chad's podcast. It's up right now. I talk about aliens. It's great. I just want to sing songs about Pie Dove, guys. Sing songs about Pie Dove. Just a little patient. Just a little patient. Just a little cute pigeon. Cute little face. So freaking cute. All right, I have 10 more minutes. So 10 more minutes, guys. Come up with some more questions. And then I have to go. I have to go in 10 minutes. So if you have any last minute questions while we finish these pause, or I can sing fight up songs. Fight up songs. Fight up. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, my favorite superhero is Doctor Strange, because Doctor Strange is the best. He is the coolest ever. Oh, you should make for dinner mac and cheese. What's my favorite superpower? Magic. World peace and pie. I can have a pie dove. They're just a pigeon. Obviously, I would just take a pigeon and just be like, this is my pet pigeon. A perma beard, that's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know, beards are a classy accessory, so. A million dollars or a perma beard? I don't know. My favorite movie is uh, Galaxy Quest. It's my favorite movie. I would rather have the ability to fly flapping my arms. That would be way more awesome. And it would look amazing. Oh my god. If you could stay married to with Ross or marry an owl, what kind of cake would you have at the wedding? I mean, Ross and I still had pretty much the best cake ever because it was the Normandy from Mass Effect, so I'll just have to keep our cake because it was pretty sweet. Um, I've been, I played piano for a long time, but I would love to learn the fiddle, because I've always wanted to play the fiddle.
How do I have the patience to sit through? I mean, art is pretty much, a lot of art is patience. It's just being, you know, I like working with my hands, so I like being able to, um, yeah, so here's the pause. I just, I just heated them up so you can see them. They're shiny because I just heated them up, so I'm going to let them uh, cool for a little while, and then I'm going to add the final details to them, which is just some fine lines. So what they're supposed to look like is sphinx cat paws. So if you know what sphinx cat paws look like, they look really wrinkly, like they look like skin, like wrinkled skin. So that's why they kind of look all wrinkly-like. And there's the underside of them. There's the overside. Let's see if I can bring it back. There we go. So yeah, so my goal day was to get both paws oh, to be the relative same size. So now we got two. We got two paws, guys. Look at that. Two of them. Two little paws. Hooray. Uh, besides pie dove, I like um, uh, Inke, which turns into um, that crazy like squid owl, who I named Cthu Owl in my game. Inke is awesome. I love Inke. It's like an owl squid. So yeah, guys, I'm going to keep detailing this stuff um, when I'm away from the stream. So you'll see it a little bit more detailed probably tomorrow. But the goal is tomorrow I'll do the two back feet, just like these two front feet. And then we will have all of our feet. And then I can start showing you the uh, how to carve the body out of foam. So yeah, meow. All right, I'll put this up now. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. This is probably still kind of bent. I'm going to have to fix this later. <laughs> this is on one of my armatures, which is just funny. Um, anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I will probably stream tomorrow, so keep a lookout at it. Little beauty. Um, it's going to be a pretty sweet, pretty sweet little kitty here. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, tweet them at me, at Holly Conrad, or yell at me on the chat when I stream tomorrow. And go do something creative and have fun tonight, and go find some chocolates. I think everyone wanted chocolate, which is, like, seems to be the general consensus. So, all right, guys. I will see you later. Thanks for watching. You're the best. Bye. Heat gun. Bah. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew. Pew pew pew. Pew pew. Ah, oh, they're getting in. Ah, pew pew.